Hi, I'm Cliff Martin, and I just bought a 2020 Blue Bolt, and I live in Ohio. And uh, I did a lot of research trying to find out how bad cold temperatures affect the range of the Bolt. And uh, a lot of times I see videos where they say, oh, we had a low of 39 degrees. Um, and uh, I'm sitting in my unheated garage right now, but it's insulated, and it's attached to the house. And it's 39 degrees in my garage right now. Um, outdoors this morning I got up, it was uh, 15 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, right now it's 11:17 uh, a.m. and it's 19 degrees Fahrenheit. And so uh, I have a 125 mile uh, commute to uh, northern Indiana. And uh, so uh, I'm, I was concerned about buying a bolt and would it uh, have the range that I need to uh, to get uh, where I need to go. Um, 125 miles one way. Um, and normal conditions would be no problem, I know, but if uh, it gets cold enough, I don't know. Uh, the forecast was for negative six, negative eight up in Indiana uh, later this week. Um, now they've backed off on the forecast. It's supposed to be negative three uh, Fahrenheit for the low. Uh, it's supposed to get below zero degrees Fahrenheit a couple of nights this week. And so I thought it could be helpful for those people that are uh, wanting to buy a bolt or wondering how they do in, in cold weather, especially the 2020 bolt. Uh, with the battery changed to 66 uh, kilowatt hours instead of uh, 60 kilowatt hour battery uh, and see how that affects uh, the range. Uh, most of the bolts that I've seen uh, are 2017s mainly, but some 18s and 19s. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how it does. Uh, I think in warm weather, I could probably travel there and back and be all right. Um, but in this cold weather, um, I think I'll get there. Um, I don't know. I don't think I could get back probably. But I'd like to see what the range is. Um, now I've got a couple options. I can travel major interstates, uh, half the way probably, um, or I can travel back roads. Uh, well, maybe more like uh, national roads, not really interstates, but uh, you know, two-lane roads that uh, yeah, have go through a few small towns. But for the most part, 55 miles per hour. Uh, I will be on the interstate for a little while. Um, speed limit 70 miles per hour there, and uh, see how that affects it. Uh, I'm choosing the uh, more rural route because of lower speeds. Uh, with slower speeds you'll get uh, more miles per kilowatt hour. So um, I'm choosing that route. Plus time-wise it's I've driven it so many times there's really not much difference at all if you go interstate or you go the back roads because the back roads are a little closer you know a little less distance. Um, so um, I'll be sitting out here in a little while. Um, like I say the temperature is uh, 39 degrees in the garage right now 19 degrees outside. And uh, if I turn it around here so you can see, right now it says that we have uh, a minimum range of 169, uh, average range 237, and a maximum range of prediction of 279. Um, I don't think we'll see that uh, anywhere near that with the uh, cold temperatures today. Uh, the wind is about uh, four miles per hour east southeast, which is actually uh, a good direction. It's a light wind, but it's a good direction uh, for this morning because I'll be going uh, northwest, and so uh, wind won't be a major factor. Uh, so if you are considering a bolt, or if you have one and wondering what it does in the uh, really <laughs> in, in colder weather than what we see in a lot of the videos, uh, to try to give you a better idea. Um, so I will report back later and if you look out here you can see that yeah we've got a lot of snow here and the temperature uh, currently is about uh, 19 degrees speed limit here 45 miles per hour and um, we'll soon be out of that in the 55 mile per hour uh, driving for I don't know, maybe 10 minutes until we get to the highway which will be 70 mile per hour uh, speed limit so we're on the interstate now, we crossed over in Indiana, and the speed limit is 70 miles per hour. And it looks like right now we're going about 71 miles per hour going downhill. And, uh, been hanging out in the right lane here. Uh, most traffic in the right lane seems to be about 65 or so, so we've been hanging out at that speed. Uh, still showing about 259 max range, 220 uh, average, 180 minimum, and averaging 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour at this point in time. Okay, I'm off the highway now and uh, traveling on this uh, road that will be on for about, uh, well, probably about an hour of the two hour and 20 minute or so drive that it is to get there. And um, 
the uh, miles per kilowatt hour I've got up to 3.9 uh, maximum range left, it says 248 miles, uh, projected 211 miles, and minimum 172 miles. Um, got a little bit of sunshine, so I uh, haven't had to use the uh, heat much at all, just the heated seats and the heated steering wheel, quite comfortable. Well, I'm an hour into the trip now, and uh, looks like I'm still showing 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour. Uh, maximum range left to 34, uh, projected 199 and minimum 163. Um, temperature has been falling like a rock. The sun disappeared, it, uh, very overcast, and I'd say three fourths of drive. It's been 23 degrees, uh, now it's 20 degrees. So, two factors there uh, more snow here, um, more clouds, and uh, we're traveling north. So. Looks like the rest of the ride's gonna be a little cooler. Having to use the defroster more often now just to uh, keep the windows clear. Um, noticeably a little cooler than it was earlier. So here we are. It looks like we're uh, basically halfway. We're at 62 and a point three and uh, miles, and uh, 62 and a half is about the halfway point. And uh, if we look at the gauges here, it looks like we have not used a quarter of the energy yet. So that's good news. Uh, maximum range is uh, predicted at 227 miles. Uh, projected range 193 and minimum 154. And uh, so we're halfway there. Uh, temperatures dropped to 19 degrees now, so it keeps going down, uh, keeps getting colder. And so I probably uh, won't do quite as well as the 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour the last half of the trip because uh, it's getting colder. So I'll have to run uh, probably with a little bit of heat, a little, or at least the defroster more. Approaching the 100 mile mark, um, the maximum range 178, the uh, projected range, one, range 151 miles, and the minimum 114, um, 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour. Um, look over here, uh, the temperature's dropped again, it's uh, 17 degrees now. Um, We've used, uh, used 26.9 kilowatt hours of uh, energy, and we traveled a distance of 99.5 uh, miles. Um, so still over uh, half uh, range, projected range left. Um, been using heat quite a bit more now because it's really uh, no sun at all anymore. Very uh, cloudy. Um, temperatures drop some more, like we said, and so it is. Uh, taking a little more energy than it had to uh, run the heating system and all, but uh, should be there in about 25 minutes. Well, I've arrived in the uh, distance traveled, uh, 114 miles. It was a little less distance since I went the uh, more rural route. Um, and instead of 125, uh, the average of uh, 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour, so good average even though it was cold outside. Um, had a little over a half a charge left when I got here. Um, so theoretically I could make it back home, but I wouldn't want to chance that. How did the bolt do? Well, it uh, showed that it used uh, 30.9 kilowatt hours to travel 114 miles an average of 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour, so much better than I expected. Uh, but other than the cold, the conditions were pretty good. Um, the roads were clear. I didn't have to go through any snow. On the way back, I may hit snow, and so we might see a different uh, different story from what we did come up here. But really quite pleased with the performance on the way up here. Um, and so uh, hopefully this was helpful to you, and uh, I'll report on the way back. Uh, maybe the conditions will be different. We'll see how we do there. Getting ready to head back uh, home in the uh, 2020 Bolt. Um, trying to see how the, the cold weather range is in it. And uh, I've got about a 150 mile drive and so I'm getting ready to head out. So right now it projects a maximum range of 296, a projected range, range of 251, and a minimum range of 181. So we'll see how it does. We started the return trip home. I didn't see snow on the ground yet, but the roads seem to be clear. A little bit of sunshine, but mainly cloudy. Uh, temperature right now is 19 degrees Fahrenheit.
Okay, a little update here. Um, traveling has been about 18 degrees most of the way, 18 degrees Fahrenheit. And if we look at the gauge here, we've gone 103 miles, uh, average 3.2 kilowatt, I'm sorry, 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour. And uh, we've got probably about 10 miles to go yet, I would guess. So, not averaging. Uh, many miles per kilowatt hour is on the way up. I think it was at 3.7, here we're at 3.2. Um, see to the roads, uh, not bad, but there's a uh, little drifting of snow right now, but the roads still, the uh, tire tracks are clear. Um, looks like 86% is driving and accessories, and then 14% climate settings, so that's taking a little more this time than the other trip. Okay, so for the trip, it says uh, we used, uh, went 116 miles, average is 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour. The maximum range left, it says 117, predicted range 100 miles, and the minimum range 82 miles. Um, so it took more uh, kilowatt hours this trip coming back because of the, mainly because of colder weather and the um, using the heat more. And, Here we can see that 87% uh, of the uh, energy went to driving accessories, 13% to climate settings, uh, battery conditioning zero, and energy usage 36.4 kilowatt hours and 116 miles traveled. Here we can see technique compared to the last drive was positive 5.3 miles, terrain negative 2.6 miles. Climate settings, negative 19.1 miles, and outside temperature, negative 9.8 miles. Uh, so the to total decrease in range was uh, 26.3 miles, mainly due to uh, climate settings, using more heat because it was colder, and uh, not as much sun helped heat the cabin, and the outside temperature is lower, so the uh, batteries are less efficient. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you liked the video, please press subscribe.